Alrightio, here we go. Looks like we have got some sound, good, and we are live to go. And we've got rail drive today. We're going to be driving the steeple cab post war version. Uh, the only difference between the two is the yellow stripes and the fact that they're allowed to run during the day, so the scenarios are in the daytime. Makes them a bit more interesting to look at. We're going to be driving cattle from Concord and Moraga, apparently, to Oakland. So it's in two parts. We'll do both parts today. Uh, when I played the test runs, it wasn't quite that long, so we should get through it. And happy Mother's Day to all of those that are mothers. Sorry for the uh, slightly late start this morning. wait while fast load does its thing fast load that's not being very fast hmm yay it's working so this month is the 20th birthday of Microsoft Train Simulator the game that started all of these games at the end of the month on my May 30 stream I will be playing train simulator i finally managed to get a machine up and running that it'll actually work and concocted a uh, video casting mechanism to get it onto my streaming machine because no matter what i tried i couldn't get it to work under windows 10 and it seems that you can't anymore Be uh, since the new h2 update all right then so we're loaded up we're ready to go and looking good so it's just going to give us a bit of a look around the depot so we know where to go. I'm not in control of this. The game's doing it. Now, interestingly, post-war, in theory, this line had no passengers. But you'll notice every passenger station's got passengers wandering around still. That's life. I was quite interested to see the announcements for Train Simulator 2 Rush Hour. Seems to be a few noisy individuals whining about it, but I kind of think. Three new routes for the price of one bonus. Okay, so let's get set up in here. We want some gauge lights. We don't really need to do all that much else. Let's make sure this is working. Ooh, so far so good. Yep. Okay, rail driver is actually connected. Reverse and check that signal, make sure it really is green. Oops, it's a bit quick. There it is. Okay, let's move. It's a sprightly little thing when it's only got itself. So we're just going around into the siding to pick up our first two cars and then we'll bring them back and put them on those trains that were over on the right there. This loco does have direct brake, but it's woeful so I don't use it. Okay. I think this one's right. Looks good.
one thing I have learnt in the pre-play is just to make sure I get this scenario right for the stream, is that you have to be kind of gentle with cows, or you fail the scenario. It's interesting how these carriages never have their handbrakes on. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are. You're uh, welcome to chuck any questions or comments in the chat. Can't get in there with them. Oh well. Can only try. Come back out and join the main line here. I'm going to leave these carriages between the two crossings, but short of those signals. okay for me to pass the signals but carriages can't or you can't finish the scenario you have to leave them just clear of the street oops a little bit more that should be enough leave them there go into a couple Breaks on, uncouple, there's something else we have to do while we're here, is we need to set that back, there we go, okay, we have a green signal, Set that one back. red signals here and I'll just stop in the little platform and then we'll deal with that. Okay, so we're sitting there, we want that switch and we want that one back to the main line. And that one's right for light, so good. Should have a green now, we'll do. Off we go. Next week's stream will be the Hamburg Lübeck route. Initially I wasn't going to buy that because the high speed end-to-end -end runs and the freight runs that just go from one end to the other don't really excite me very much. But then I discovered two things. It's got the singing Siemens train 
the one that can play music. And it's got some commuter traffic, so I thought I will buy it. So I'll be streaming that one next week, assuming it comes out on time. It's due out on May the 13th, which means I'll get about one day to play it before I have to stream it with you, because of course it comes out on my Friday. Carriages already have cows in them. Clunk. Yeah, I've got those ones. Pull them out, and then we have to get the rest of the train. Actually, you know what? I've done something wrong here. I'm going to leave these here because I have actually done something a little bit wrong. I didn't follow the instructions. I'll try a couple of. These bit and then try and uncouple it. Hmm. There we go. I have stuffed up. Because what I'm supposed to do is go and get those carriages up there and put them on these. I hope I didn't just break the scenario. Won't give me any points because this is a career scenario, that's for sure, but hopefully I didn't break it. I don't really care about the careers. And off we go again. Let's go and do the right thing this time. Just while I'm thinking about it, did I set that one back? No, better set that one too. It's a morning of stuff ups. Oh well. Quite stop, that'll do nicely. Okay, release their brakes. And back to get the others. people on playback. go and get those cards. There we go. 
Then we set brake that we put on before. And we're going to pull out and get the other ones. And finish making up our train and then we can nick off out of here. It's kind of funny. I've always thought that Train Simulator didn't have a lot of detail in the cars and in the surroundings. And then I played MSTS the other day. Wow. Plenty of details in these cars and surroundings. Right, am I going to be able to get to the back? I am. Good. Set those ones. And we'll go and pick up the others now. In about a month's time, we're looking at three new routes for Train Simulator as well. Train Simulator, Train Sim World 2, sorry. So that should be interesting. In rush hour, not much in the way of new locomotive stock, mostly rebuilds of existing things, but hopefully there'll be rail driver versions of those existing things, because that will be cool. And three new routes. Okay. Let's get the flock then. Morning, Roy. How are you? Look at that, I can type and drive a train at the same time. Just can't do either of them well. big wigs. I've got one of those on Puffing Billy. Not quite that one, but series similar. Where did all the cattle go? The last three cars are meant to be empty, but the other ones looked empty too. Let's see what they look like coming through here. worked in this area back in late 90s, early 2000s, which is actually where I acquired this beast, the rail driver, and it certainly doesn't look like this anymore, it's just an endless sea of houses. I don't know that there's any orchards around Concord anymore, not in the immediate area of the city anyway. If you like hot, it's a nice climate part of the central valley of California. Always hot. Even in winter it's hot. Oops, speeding a little. It's a good thing I've got the display turned off that whines about losing points, isn't it? We 
we've got a meet coming up shortly. Even though it's a go via, I'm going to slow down for it because in my practice runs, sometimes the signals are set against you because the other train's not there yet. don't have to stop for this, we're going to stop anyway because I want to check the map and see how the switches are set. You can see the other trains coming in at the moment. So I just want to stop and see how the switches are set here. Make sure I'm not going to run into that train. No, so we're there and we're going to come straight through. Yeah, so we're going to go straight through the main line. And that switch is set against us. Excellent. Okay. Away we go. Excuse me, drinking my orange juice. My breakfast was slightly delayed this morning. I usually sit outside my house and one of my neighbour's cats came and stuck its foot in my cereal bowl just so it could have some milk. That kind of delayed everything this morning. And then I had a few little tech issues. Gremlins. Mostly around these that didn't want to connect to anything. Yay, Bluetooth. Let's hop outside. We can see this other train, which has got two rail motors on it. these other you know, old-time vans. Those Pacific Fruit Express wagons are refrigerator cars, but not in any sense that we'd know them. Just put ice in them. Yes, pull ahead and stop, I know. But I've already set this one, so it's all good little scenario. Really want me to stop? Is that actually going to make me stop? It is, isn't it? All right, I'll stop so the scenario is happy. Ah, no, it's figured it out. All good. Or is it? No, no amps. I may have just stuffed this up. See if that lets you have power. No power. Can't reset these, no. Because I didn't stop, I think it's not going to let me have any power. Still got all my other stuff, but no power. Sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. I'll be right back then. <laughs> and there's no way to go back a step in this game. I don't really want to start it again, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? Oh well. Hmm. Well, the next bit of this is just driving down to the next yard, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this scenario... And I'm going to drive the next part of this scenario. There we go. I told you to be quick. Uh, I want Korea. I want that route. So why isn't it showing me the scenarios? There we go. That's what I want. Okay. We'll drive the second part, because the only bit we're missing is the short drive down to Moraga to pick up some other cars. So... 
this second part just starts in Moraga. The challenge with these scenarios is sometimes they're very finicky, and if you don't do exactly what it wants, it kills you. Okay. All right, so what we've got now, this is our train that we were driving in the siding. We have to pick up these three, and we have to set out the back three that are up here. Check our points. So we are set to go out onto the main line. And back up here, we're set to go through. Good. And we can set this one now. And we're going to put those other freight cars into this siding in front of these, but not connected to those. So that's all ready to go. All right then. Let us un let's put on a couple of handbrakes first and uncouple. This one gets a little bit weird with the signals in places. Now, am I part? Mm, probably am past it. I was not past the signal. Otherwise, that would have been a quick scenario, wouldn't it? Welcome, Michael. How are you today? This one you actually have to pass the signal. Or you can't change points. Hmm. Request denied, huh? Well, we're going to do it anyway. We kind of have to. So how are you supposed to play it? Let's try that again. It's a good thing it only just started. I'm sure that actually worked for me last time. Maybe I didn't go far enough past the signal. This is probably the reason why I don't generally play career scenarios. They're so bloody finicky. Now, what didn't I do? I don't do, do. Yeah, okay. Handbrakes, uncouple. We're in forward already. Go for the restart of the scenario. Got a green signal down there. sitting on them as far as the game's concerned. That should be enough. Yes. Okay. I wonder if I can do that at that other one and not actually pass the signal. Maybe that's the trick to it. I'll go a bit slower this time. Yep, 
we'd pass it. Okay, just so we don't have to uh, do that again, in case that didn't work. And let's just check how these sidings are set. And yep, we're going on to our train, which is good. Okay, it's the engine, one, that's the caboose, and one, two, three cars. That's funny, my stuffing up that signal actually caused someone to leave the stream. They're probably sitting there in a little fit of anger right now going, I would have done it better. It kind of makes my day, to be honest. I kind of think I'll only have to clear those points there. And I can't go to the back of the train, it won't let me. So I'm probably going to have to set those points from the map. That's okay. Hopefully I can change them now. Yep, and we're going to go into this siding where these other cars are. I should not need to do anything with the signal, but just in case. So the whole train hasn't passed it, so I should be able to ignore it. Looks like that is true. Really only works in game world, of course. Are we clear. That'll do. And we're gonna handbrakes, even though the game never does. Keeping our caboose. We're going to go and get those ones in the other siding that have more cows. Looks like it changed. Very happy to be uh, feeling a lot better today. I had my COVID vaccine on Friday. It was like having the flu for a day and a half. Perfect. All right then. As soon as the rear of this is clear of those points, I'm going to... Ah, excellent. I can do it now. 
because we want to put it back in that line over there so as soon as we're clear we'll go we'll stop should be enough It is on a steep grade, no wonder it sped up so quick. Nice gentle coupling to protect our little cow brethren. Maybe not coupling at all is too gentle. Uncouple our loco, and we don't think there are. There's a signal at that end. Are we past it? Let's just get into the loco and have a look here. Yeah, we're fine. Go green. Let me go that way. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit more. Even that looks like we very much am clear of them. Yay. I think they switched. Okay. on just take those off the rest of the train is okay all right now it's a straight run down into oakland there's one more twist to this one we have to pick up another loco Is uh, very windy in this scenario, Roy. Which vaccine are you getting, Michael? I had AstraZeneca, but uh, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson have a very similar effect. The rest of the trains cleared those points. It has we can speed up. I'm guessing you're getting a two-dose one by your first dose, because uh, Pfizer's a single-dose one. That one apparently doesn't have any side effects. I just clicked through the warning about not going too fast through the corners up here. 
So I'll stick to that half line speed that seems to keep it happy. The clouds remind me more of bushfire smoke than clouds, which is not uncommon to this area of California. So you're getting a two dose Pfizer, Michael. I thought they were all one dose. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't make you feel the way the one I had made me feel. I have to remember as we're approaching the point that we have to hook up another loco that the points are actually set wrong in this scenario. So hopefully this time I'll remember to stop. understand that one completely. So that's just a warning that tells me about adding another locomotive at Pinehurst. Just gonna let gravity slow me down for this tighter corner up here. Grass is a bit weird, isn't it, the way it works? It's so strange. I think when you experience the side effects, Mike, you'll understand why you don't really want the, the real disease. The side effects are like a miniature version of the real one. the corners too fast in this scenario it stops because you hurt the cows
Pinehurst up there. So I've got a green signal this time, which I didn't have last time. Let's just quickly check the map. No, it is set for the main line this time. Must have been a little bit of an anomaly last time. So here's the motor we're going to pick up. Just because we're going to do something tricky, let's save. So we can keep going if I mess it up. Pick up this little beastie here. Interestingly, we back up onto the thing, but it's got a crew in it. So I would have thought in reality we'd sit in a mainline and it would come out and attach to our train, but that's okay. Tab, there we go. Yeah, it was one of them. Now, interestingly, you shouldn't really have to worry about that signal anyway. The normal sort of arrangement on a railway is the signal doesn't apply to anything but the line it's for. rough for the crew but that's okay cool to spawn I set the direction then that's better Facing the wrong way, buddy. Trains that way. For the viewer who just joined, welcome. We're currently driving the second of two scenarios and we have just hooked up Sloco to the rear of our train and we're currently heading towards Oakland.
I think this area today is all part of a park. a little spark effect on the pantographs. underneath the train. Welcome to the exciting blackness. You can have the lights on so you get slightly less blackness. Just the computers. Are you going to pick up Hamburg Lübeck, Michael? long trip through the tunnel. Now I've done the pre-order. I'm going to pick it up and stream it next weekend if all goes well assuming it comes out on time it's due out on the 13th which should be on time to be the 14th for me something that's always vaguely amused and annoyed me with dovetail is they actually think they're doing australia a favor and they do something special with the steam dates and they think we get it on the same day as everybody else but we don't we actually get it a day later consoles you get it a day earlier and on steam you get it a day later go figure oh i know that feeling michael my other half looks at how much i've spent on this game occasionally and goes "Ooh." fortunately they have their sales 
rush hour looks interesting, which is a few months away, fortunately. We can save our bickies for it. Three new routes. Sort of new locomotives that hopefully at least when they take the old ones and uh, redo them a little bit, they'll put rail, rail driver into them. That would be good. And we finally get something back from Amtrak, both a high speed and a commuter, which will be good. Even better if we had something Australian, but you know, America was number one on the next next country's list. Australia was number two, so hopefully they could work on something. I've offered to go and travel lines and do photos and stuff, but you never hear anything back when you offer that. So I assume they have their pets, because I know there's a guy in Sydney who's offered that as well. Just down here where this orange bit is, we have to stop. Just where the man standing on the side of the track is. Too early. Yeah, it should be good, Michael. It's not the same part of NEC. That's a different part to what was in the game previously. Maybe if we're unbelievably lucky, one day that bit of NFC will come back and they'll be joined together. NEC. They just call it NFC. more break in a moment. Yeah, I did PM that. Alright, see you Michael. Thanks for coming along to the stream. What's interesting about adding an, an extra rail motor to the back of these things is that they don't actually have dynamic brakes, so what's the point of putting another one on the back? It's just dead weight. It makes going down the hill actually worse. That's okay. There'll just be lots of brakes on, brakes off, brakes on, brakes off, that sort of thing. Down the steep hill we go, it gets to 4% at one point.
weird sound. There's the San Francisco Bay down there. this little town called. Thornhill. I tried to find this area on maps. There's certainly no train line there now. This is set in the 1940s in this version of it. Almost down into Oakland itself now. It's interesting that in an earthquake zone, right above Oakland is a big reservoir. I must try and find out if that's still there. Yeah, 
heading down towards the bay. We'll be in the street running section very soon. So we're heading for Piedmont at the moment. This is an extremely steep gradient here, 4.2%. It's the city of Oakland. I lived in a part of Oakland called Trestle Glen. Working everywhere in the Bay Area on public transit systems for a good few years. You can see the Golden Gate peeking above the hills over in the right hand side just up there if you if this thing shows you the mouse pointer sorry people this is just for cows Join our street running here. And just there in the distance, you can see the Bay Bridge. Won't be crossing that one today because this service doesn't do that, but uh, the passenger services certainly do. Unless you'd like me to run a passenger service after this and cross the Bay Bridge, you could do that if you want to. You can vote in the chat, go for your life. It's dropping right back down to a measly 1.8%. They're coming up to some traffic lights up there, and I think they are, they're red. So on the street, we get to obey traffic lights. There's some videos on YouTube of various places in the US where the trains have to obey traffic lights. And there's one place in Victoria that I'm aware of that it happens, and that's in Witty Proof. Oh, there might. interesting because where they're drawing the tops of the Golden Gate Bridge over there, I actually think it should be over there. But anyway, that's okay. It could be an illusion. You'd get a bit of a surprise if this was coming down your street, wouldn't you? Living in the houses and someone goes, did you fart? 
these cows come flying through. Getting brake sounds anymore. They're still working though. No horn. No bell. That's interesting. Oh well. Bugs. We're almost at the end of this scenario. I still have train sound, but nothing else. What about throttle? No throttle noises. So we're coming up to the end of this run, rolling through the downtown streets of Oakland, coming up to Shafter Avenue, and that's where this one will actually finish. Sounds work on the outside? No. It's sad that we've lost everything except the uh, idling motor noise. going to block this street shortly because just down there is where we stop. So if anybody wants to see a run into San Francisco, I can do that since we're here. Just uh, pull out in the chat. Otherwise, we'll be ending shortly. Next week's stream is Hamburg-Lübeck, assuming they release it on time. Just 
got to stop Not quite there. There. Cool beans. And at the... Uh, so next week's Hamburg Lübeck, that's releasing on May 13th for Transim World 2, so it'll be a TSW2 stream. At the end of the month, we'll be doing Microsoft Train Simulator, the 2001 version of the game, which is the original version. And just before that, I hope to be streaming the new Rapid Transit, um, if it comes out when... I think it will. They haven't actually given us a release date, but they did say shortly after Hamburg Lübeck. So I'm hoping it comes out the next week in an update, and then we can go through that one. Even if they don't update it, I'll probably stream that one. It's been a while since I've driven Rapid Transit. That's the end of today's scenario. So no one's sung out at this point that they do want a trolley run, but uh, let's see what's available if I do have a look if someone says yes. Or I could just do it anyway. Because we've got the interurban. Have we actually got any quick drive runs? Let's see where this puts us. If it puts us out in the countryside, I'll uh, bail on it. If it doesn't put us out in the countryside, thanks you, Roy, then uh, we might give it a run. We'll see. Nah, it's put us right out at the end of the line. That will take about two hours, so I won't do that. Um, so next week, Hamburg Lübeck, which is a new release from Train Sim World 2. I will probably drive the singing Siemens locomotive hopefully it'll work with this beast if you haven't seen the Siemens singing locomotive google the thing <laughs> it's quite funny people have programmed it to play music and songs also quite funny uh, after that the week next one I hope to drive rapid transit new version because there's supposed to be an update coming out to it which um, hopefully will make it rail driver compatible that would be nice not holding out for that one but hopefully it would be nice and then the week after that is Microsoft Train Simulator 2001 edition. Now, I've had to go through a bit of uh, fun to actually get that to work because since the Windows update, Windows 10 H2, uh, Train Sim 2001 no longer works. 2004 does, but 2001 doesn't. So I've built another machine and I've concocted a way to get the VGA output from that very old laptop over to my streaming machine. So... That should be a fun day, and it'll be interesting to see just how far train simulators have come, because when you compare the appearance of the one we just drove, which is an older technology one, and TSW2, they're orders of magnitude apart. When we compare train simulator, the original version, wow, it's uh, 10 orders of magnitude backwards. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this morning. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and... See you next week. So it'll still be 8.30 a.m. next Sunday morning. And if you like the stream, give it a like. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. I don't get anything out of subscriptions because I'll probably never hit the mark where I'll actually get anything. This is all for fun. But uh, the extra subscribers give me a bit of joy and help keeping me going. So if you know anybody else that likes trains, point them this way. And uh, if, the, if you've got any requests, let me know via the chat or other means, and uh, we'll go from there. And you can find me on the forums for Train Simulator and TS2021, the Dovetail forums, if you want to chat there. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, drop bear Paul. All right, see you later.